Hey guys, so what I want to do today is I, I want to paint these calipers red. I think these are really good looking calipers and I think uh, being red will look really sharp with my red accents and you know, red always looks good in, in calipers to me. Um, so it, it's actually not that hard to do yourself. It just takes a little bit of time and effort and um, some patience if you want to do it well and it, it, the results will turn out really well. So before you jack up the car completely, what you probably want to do is break loose the, these nuts. Uh, not take them, loosen them uh, completely, but just break them loose so um, there's not a whole lot of torque on them so that you can remove them easier, unless you have some kind of impact wrench. But you know, most people don't. Uh, I have one, but I still like to break, break it loose a little bit. And then after that, we can jack it, jack it up uh, completely. I have um, block stoppers on the other two tires on the other side of the car. You don't, you, you definitely want to make sure you're safe before you do this. This is my first time jacking up this car, so I just want to make sure everything's good. My placement is good. All right. All right, so what we're going to need to do next is we're going to need to clean these calipers really, really well. Um, we're going to use brake, brake cleaner for that. I have this brake parts cleaner that I got at the Walmart. We're going to spray everything down, get all the brake dust out because you, if you have any brake dust, you know it's it's not good, the paint will stick on as well. So you have to make sure it's nice and clean before you get started put a rag or something on the bottom to to catch all the the fluid that's going to come out and this stuff is very strong so be careful right, so I'm going to use a, a a hard plastic wire brush I guess it's not really a wire brush in that scenario uh, I, I don't want to use metal I'm afraid that'll scuff it up too much but I'm just going to use a hard plastic and then that, that'll get get the little cracks and corners. So now there are two ways you could do this. I could tape everything all up everywhere all around and then I could um, spray it on. And what I'm using is this Rust-Oleum uh, caliper paint. Or what, what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to use this paint it's an aerosol, but I'm going to spray it onto a brush, and I'm going to brush it onto the calipers. And that actually is much less of a mess. The, the paint is a little bit thicker, but there's a less there's less chance of running, uh, the paint running if you put on too thick of a coat, and it still looks pretty good. I've done it both ways, and I do think spraying it will look a little bit better, but uh, for the amount of work and prep that you have to do, I'm, I'm not sure that it's that much better or I just didn't do as well as I could have. So, this, so I just sprayed um, the, the uh, spray, used the aerosol and sprayed the paintbrush into a reservoir and then I'm going to use the, the drippings from that reservoir to get the paint. Well, I decided that the foam brushes just break apart too early, too easily, so I'm going to go back to a brush. The brush allows you to get into the cracks and corners better. Alright, two brush layers later, I'm not real happy with how, how evenly it's coming out. It's not as even as I'd like, so I'm going back to using the spray can. And I take everything up, and I'm going to finish off the last coat with the spray can and hopefully it'll be smoother. Alright, so this is what it looks like with that uh, extra sprayed on coat and next up now that the
Right here is a close up of the finished product. It's not as clean as I would like. Alright, I put on that second coat and I same thing as the front, we're gonna put on this decal and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put this decal right on. Decal is a little bit tricky to, to take off, so you're gonna have to um, kind of bend the, the lower paper to, to get it to stick onto the, the contact paper. Sticks, you should be able to get it on. Okay. Oh. All right, so we're just gonna line it up and put it on right there hey doggy <laughs> it's okay make sure the decal is on really good After that, I like to make sure it's on, and then we'll put on the clear coat. <laughs> 